forces beyond your control can take away everything you possess except one thing, your freedom to choose how you will respond to the situation. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. When a person can't find a deep sense of meaning, they distract themselves with pleasure. Life is never made unbearable by circumstances, but only by lack of meaning and purpose. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. The one thing you can't take away from me, is the way I choose to respond to what you do to me. When a man cannot find meaning, he numbs himself with pleasure. Even when it is not fully attained, we become better by striving for a higher goal. It isn't the past which holds us back, it's the future, and how we undermine it, today. There are two races of men in this world, but only these two the race of the decent man, and the race of the indecent man. A man who becomes conscious of the responsibility, he bears toward a human being who affectionately waits for him, or to an unfinished work, will never be able to throw away his life. He knows the why for his existence, and will be able to bear almost any how. In some ways, suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment, it finds a meaning, such as the meaning of a sacrifice. No man should judge unless, he asks himself in absolute honesty whether in a similar situation, he might not have done the same. The more one forgets one's own self, the more human the person becomes. You don't create your mission in life, you detect it. If we take a man as he is, we make him worse, but if we take man as he should be, we make him capable of becoming what he can be. Life asks of every individual a contribution, and it is up to that individual, to discover what it should be. The attempt to develop a sense of humor, and to see things in a humorous light, is some kind of a trick learned, while mastering the art of living. The point is not what we expect from life, but rather what life expects from us. Man's main concern is not to gain pleasure, or to avoid pain but rather, to see a meaning in his life.
For success, like happiness, cannot be pursued, it must ensue, and it only does so as the unintended side effect, of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself, or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. Each man is questioned by life, and he can only answer to life, by answering for his own life. To life, he can only respond by being responsible. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space, is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Life is not primarily a quest for pleasure, as Freud believed, or a quest for power, as Alfred Adler taught, but a quest for meaning. The greatest task for any person is to find meaning in his or her own life. Success, like happiness, is the unexpected side effect of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself. For the meaning of life differs from man to man, from day to day and from hour to hour. What matters, therefore, is not the meaning of life in general but rather the specific meaning of a person's life, at a given moment. If there is a meaning in life at all, then there must be a meaning in suffering. Suffering is an ineradicable part of life, even as fate and death. Without suffering and death, human life cannot be complete. Ever more people today have the means to live, but no meaning to live for. View life as a series of movie frames, the ending and meaning, may not be apparent until the very end of the movie, and yet, each of the hundreds of individual frames, has meaning within the context of the whole movie. We can discover this meaning in life, in three different ways. 1. By doing a deed. 2. By experiencing a value. And 3. By suffering.